and welcome to Koi Channel. This time, we will do a deep dive into the micro world using a very simple device made from a video recorder, an eyepiece lens of a microscope, and an office tape. It's not perfect, but it gives a glimpse to minute details and sometimes leads to small discoveries. For instance, this piece of dolomite with a bunch of round imprints that look like fish eggs to me, but after zooming in, it became obvious that those are coiled shells of foraminifera. Surprise! With this device, we can take a look right into the crystal eyes of a trilobite. Or an insect trapped in a piece of amber. This sphere could be pollen of an ancient plant. The polished pieces of petrified wood can be very interesting and often preserve microscopic structures of cell walls. Can you guess what it is? It's enamel of a megalodon tooth. And this is a fossilized plate of a sea urchin. Here is a piece of a dinosaur bone. The bones have canals for blood vessels and nerves. And in this specimen, they are filled with red minerals. I wonder if the red color actually comes from the red blood cells enriched in iron. Next are a few more plant fossils. A cross section of a horse tail stem. Nice colorful fossil from Brazil or Argentina. A tree fern. Spectacular preservation for a 280 million year old fossil. A palm tree from Texas has quite distinct structure. The fine structure of septa from an ammonite shell. The imprints of plant leaves from coal mines were also interesting, although no cellular structures were preserved under these circumstances. A bit disappointing, but you never know what you are going to find if you travel in the micro world. This dry, modern-day silverfish has eyes like those of trilobites. Hmm, are they relatives? Silverfish are considered to be one of the most primitive living insects. Okay, thanks for joining. I hope you had fun. See ya!